When you touch a piece of wood that has survived hundreds of years, it feels almost alive. Its grain is dense, its surface resilient, and it doesn't crumble under pressure like the lumber you buy today. Vikings achieved this remarkable durability not through modern chemicals or synthetic coatings, but through a combination of observation, patience, and a technique so powerful it essentially kept timber alive. Today we're going to uncover this Viking wood ritual and show you how the same principles can be applied to your backyard projects, turning ordinary wood into material that withstands rain, snow, and time itself. Vikings harvested wood at the right time to maximize strength. The first step in the ritual began long before any timber was shaped. Viking craftsmen carefully chose the timing of their harvest. They cut trees like oak, pine, and spruce during late winter or early spring when the sap levels were lowest. This low sap wood naturally resisted moisture absorption, making it less likely to rot. After felling, the timber wasn't used immediately. Instead, it was left to air dry slowly in well-ventilated spaces sometimes for months or even years. This slow drying allowed the fibres to harden evenly, reducing the risk of warping and cracking, and creating a stable foundation for the next stage of treatment. For your backyard projects, this principle translates to patience. Start with timber that has been harvested during dormant seasons or has been properly seasoned. Avoid rushing the drying process with excessive heat, which can compromise the wood's internal structure. Even a simple raised bed or garden bench will benefit immensely from starting with well-prepared timber. Once the wood was prepared, Vikings employed a technique that might seem counterintuitive today. Controlled surface charring. By exposing the outer layer of timber to flame, they created a carbon shield that repelled moisture, insects, and fungi. The inner wood remained flexible and strong, while the exterior acted as armor against decay. This method was applied to longship hulls, beams, and even wooden tools, allowing the wood to withstand northern storms, salt water, and centuries of exposure. You can replicate this in your backyard using a propane torch or a small controlled fire. Hold the flame close enough to blacken the surface without burning through. Once charred, gently brush away loose soot. Charring is ideal for fence posts, garden furniture or raised beds, adding an invisible yet highly effective layer of protection that dramatically extends the wood's life. Charring alone was not enough. Vikings also treated their timber with natural oils and resins, most commonly pine tar, which was derived from slowly burning pine wood or resin. The tar penetrated deep into the wood fibers, creating a waterproof barrier while also containing natural antiseptic compounds that prevented mold and rot. Some long ships were coated multiple times over weeks or months, ensuring the wood absorbed the protective substances completely. Timber treated this way could survive constant exposure to rain, snow and salt water without deterioration. For backyard use, you can achieve similar results by warming pine tar or linseed oil and rubbing it into the wood fibres, particularly on surfaces exposed to moisture. This treatment works for outdoor furniture, garden beds, wooden tools, and even firewood, giving them the same longevity the Vikings relied upon for their ships and longhouses. Even perfectly treated wood can fail if it is poorly joined. Viking craftsmen understood this deeply. They used overlapping boards, angled joints, and wooden pegs to distribute stress evenly. 
Water was directed away from vulnerable seams, and flat surfaces that collected moisture were avoided. By combining these design choices with charring and oiling, Viking structures could survive extreme weather and last for centuries. For your backyard projects, this translates into slightly angled garden beds, overlapping boards in sheds, and careful spacing in outdoor furniture. These design considerations allow water to drain naturally, reducing stress on treated wood and enhancing durability. Imagine building a garden shed with soft wood harvested in winter, slowly air-dried, lightly charred, and coated with pine tar. That structure will resist sun, rain, snow, and pests far longer than untreated wood. Even firewood stored with these methods stays dry and rot-free, providing reliable fuel for winters to come. Outdoor furniture fencing and raised beds all benefit from these ancient techniques, transforming ordinary wood into heirloom-quality, long-lasting material. Viking wood preservation wasn't mystical. It was the product of observation, patience, and understanding natural materials. By applying these principles today, you can create wood structures that resist decay, avoid chemical treatments, and achieve a level of durability. Modern builders often fail to match. Viking wisdom can transform your backyard projects. By embracing the Viking wood ritual, seasonal harvesting, slow drying, surface charring, natural oiling, and thoughtful joinery, you're not just building structures. You're connecting with centuries of craftsmanship and ingenuity. Whether you're a history enthusiast, a survivalist, or someone who simply wants long-lasting natural wood in your backyard, these techniques provide a practical, time-tested solution. If you found this guide valuable, subscribe to our channel for more historical insights and practical backyard wisdom. Share this video with fellow enthusiasts so the Viking approach to preserving timber can inspire backyard projects around the world. Apply these lessons today and you'll discover that ordinary wood can be transformed into material that survives rain, snow and the passage of time just like it did centuries ago.